Downing Street has taken aim at the BBC, confirming they're considering scrapping the licence fee for a subscription model and forcing the sale of most of its radio. Now, to be clear, the BBC is an iconic British brand. It must not, however, be held up to be infallible and untouchable. The corporation has become analogous to many US tech giants, undeniably bloated, squeezing out local competition and stifling startup innovation. Such near monopoly power is unfairly subsidized by a regressive flat tax that outrageous, outrageously makes it a criminal offense not to pay for the license fee for watching any live program on any device, even if not a BBC show. The license fee is simply unfair, unprogressive and unsustainable. It belongs firmly in the top-down world of the last century. Yes, let's ring fence the BBC's world-class news and current affairs, but it should never be criminal for refusing to pay for entertainment if you don't consume it. Resisting change here can only be done by mounting a nostalgic, conservative defence of the status quo. But since when is that progressive? Well, you know, as a former director general, I, 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 it was almost inevitable that I was going to I come back. I thought you were going to pick this topic, Craig. I think the discussion. No, I think the discussion about the licence fee is a va valid one, yeah. uh, in the sense that if someone came along today and said, mm. "We're going to invent this. We're going to have a television in your house. You, you will have to pay 150 odd pounds tax, which we can use for programming," it would have no chance. Yeah. Right? It would have no chance. However, it, when you start looking at all the alternatives. It's quite difficult. What about a mixed um, model? Well, what what matters, I think, and this is what you, the conclusion I've reached after sort of four years of, of looking, universality. That yeah. th this is available mm. to everybody, yeah. mm. and that matters. I think. I think that you have a you have uh, a set of services that are available to everybody. I mean, I've seen some of the criticisms. Um, I mean, for instance, the Sunday Times. Uh, Wrote a leader basically saying they've closed down local local newspapers. You know, they they've, they're the full, mm, It's they completely have. no. What's closed down local newspapers is the advertising model for local newspapers is defunct. It's gone because actually all those ads now go online, and that's what happened to local newspapers. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with the BBC. There is, I think, a process that we need to go through that requires a long thought out. Commission probably who works out okay. What are the alternatives? What is the best way of doing this? When Mrs. Thatcher tried to put ads on the BBC She got a right-wing economist to do a report on it who came out and said It won't work. Mm. It won't mm. work mm. and I'd like to see some more thought going to this in particular though Let me add but are you um, pro-reform Greg? Yeah, because I'm you're, pro -reform. you're sounding a bit I'm, equivocal. I'm, no, it? I'm pro-thought. Yeah, I'm pro <laughs> I'm pro what I hope we all are. No, no, I'm pro. No, 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 we're not yeah. all because some, well, some people are doing thinking. it. For, it's straightforward <laughs> for ideological reasons. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's interesting is this quote from Damien Green who says, Destroying the BBC wasn't in our manifesto mm. and would be cultural vandalism. Well, forget about the cultural vandalism bit. It but wasn't. about the destroying bit as well because that's not what I'm proposing. No, no yeah, but, yeah. Exactly. but destroying the BBC, it, 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 it requires. How? Thought. How? It requires a but, proper. But, 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 it's, 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 it's a profligate organisation. Yeah. I, I think you know all. What people talk. There's a hysteria around this. We're not going to lose the BBC. It's just going to be put on the same commercial footing, hopefully, as as other companies are. Okay. So and, how no, do you put, how do you put local radio, BBC local yes. radio, onto any sort of commercial footing yeah. at all? Let me tell you, it, it won't. Pay for itself. Mm. Well, if it won't pay for itself, is, it, is, is then, there then a justification for it, it existing? Ah, but then that's the different. That's the discussion. But True. can True. we? Can I just. I, want, I just wanted to. But let me finish about the. Pro, it's a point about profligacy, yeah. um, and and it's you know the, we have you know we read day after day about the the scores of executives on mm. two and three hundred yeah. grand a year, their gold plated pensions. When they get a payoff, they get three years money plus the gold plated pension. And and you know if they make a mistake like they did with the digital media platform, which cost a hundred million quid, most commercial companies would suffer because of that. the BBC just wipe their face and move on because they know the next year there's a truckload of license fee people. Fee money coming money to pay for their can, can I just say, I don't see why Greg thinks it's ideological anyway to object to the fact the state is ordering people to pay yes, a tax, tax to watch a form of media which they may not actually watch. Sure. Yes. Why should the state be taxing but, but, at the commercial yes. disadvantage well, of their rivals? I... And Carol says about the size of the BBC. I remember interviewing Mark Thompson, director of the general of the BBC, and said, How many people does the BBC employ? Mm. 
He didn't have a clue. And he told me this story, which underlines the problems at the BBC. When a BBC hostage who'd been in captivity in the Middle East for a couple of years mm -hmm. had been released, he got one call from Sky to fix up an interview. 38 calls from the BBC mm -hmm. different exactly. outlets yeah. to do the same interview. It is out of control, and it's out of control because it's got a state-guaranteed well, exactly. subsidy. June hasn't come in yet. Though. Well, yeah. as the <coughs> current <Yes. laughs> Director of Creative Diversity, I think what we must not lose sight of is the fact that our mm. BBC is the envy of the world. When you speak to broadcasters around the world, they are completely envious that we have something like the this, news. that we have... A, They're all of it, it, that we have an institution mm -hmm. like this. And also, it is the engine of our creative industry. If you look at the relationship with the independent se sector in terms of um, independent production companies, the BBC is the biggest buyer. So actually, if the BBC goes, our creative industry goes. Okay. The, 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 and, and I don't think people make that correlation. I've got a bit of information on this. Please. One, so, but, but it's, it's 50, there's been a 50% increase in the number of European productions made by Netflix Still as well. Still doesn't compare so to what we buy. They are catching at up. All. Yeah. Can, can I, <clears throat> let's talk about this. Well, you know, we call it a state broadcaster. But it's, you know, it's no, a, don't, it's, we don't, it's no, a state... No, we don't call it a state broadcaster. Well, they do. The BBC it. doesn't call it a well, state broadcaster. They might not, but everyone else... The state it, broadcaster it, it, is run by, okay. the, by the government so, of the day. So, yeah. ca OK, so... It, it's supposed to be. It, it, it's a state broadcast in the sense that we all pay a tax to watch it. However, I we don't, don't, I don't pay want a to pay a tax to watch something that I don't think is broadly representative so, of the state so, anymore. So can I? No, yeah. I'm, I'm in the middle of a yeah. point. I, I just want to say that you know the the, the BBC has been roundly criticised recently over the fact of its left wing bias, also its bias recently towards <laughs> Brexit. I don't want to watch a TV station that tells me. Something I don't, that, that puts a slant on news that I don't agree but, with. But you're, but you're not the best judge, are you? Because of course, you I'm come the best from a judge. particular perspective, it's just like him, which is way out there. It's what? supposed I'm to be so on your, so your judgment about bias isn't the valid. The BBC actually. didn't actually. Didn't actually put out Boris Johnson's speech on Brexit night. Whether you agree with Brexit or not, I, I, it was a historic Carol, occasion. But the left have complained in the same <laughs> yeah, way. It's Both not, sides have well, complained. The left aren't looking but but at what can the I BBC just say one doing. thing? It's not I, just about want, bias. I just want yeah. to pick up one quick point. Yeah. So you said that you do not want to pay for entertainment that you don't con consume yeah. or mm. be criminalised for entertainment you don't consume. You wouldn't be. If you're not consuming entertainment, if you're not consuming live TV, yeah. then you no, do no, not no, have no, to no, pay for true. the... How that's many people no, now... No, hold on, I need to clarify yeah. this. Okay. If you're consuming any live TV on any device, yeah. even that's if it's not a BBC programme... That's what I said. If you're not you consuming no, no, if, live TV no, yeah, but, it, on any device, then watching, you won't need to pay for it I could be then. watching live Sky and not the BBC, but I'm still paying for the BBC. But that's that, not fair. No, but the live Licence fee is to allow you to be able to consume television. Period. Oh, yeah, but I so could be watching a live broadcast from America. Okay, but don't paying no the British Chris. government tax for that. But, but you, you know? can't watch live yeah, broadcast. Yeah, on in my America. phone I could be watching live CNN. Why am I paying a BBC licence fee for that? Now, now that's I don't the know point. about CNN, yeah, I'm talking about national. Any live broadcast, any live broadcast on any device, yeah. that even if it's not a BBC program, yeah, of course. you have to pay for your. But license. that's always been the case. That's right, and that's it's what I'm saying is unfair. Yeah, but why, is, hang on, why, is the, why is the BBC doing so much? A question. It's just doing too yes. much. Yeah, well, it's too ambitious. It's too big. It's, it's too like it's, it's bloated. And some exactly. It's out of control. I have a question for the panel. If on a point of principle. I said, I'm going to watch live, live CNN on my iPhone and I refused to pay the BBC and got a criminal offence for it. Quite. Would you sympathise with me? Uh, no, can I, can I just say... Why? Can I give well, you I the would. statement yeah, from... why not? Well, can I give you the statement from Sir David Clementi, uh, mm. the chairman of the BBC? I pay my licence fee. He way. said, <laughs> the BBC is a great national asset. A diminished BBC is a weakened United Kingdom. No, and he's right. Mm. Sitting behind a paywall, it would no longer be the place that brings the country together for the Strictly final, I or Gavin and Stacey on Christmas Day, nonsense. or the Armistice anniversary, or Holocaust but, Memorial. Let quite, me finish. Yeah, yeah. Nor would it be the place that all could turn to to celebrate live important moments we enjoy as a nation. A royal wedding, or jubilees, or the Olympic successes. He's right. Well, so I think the irony, the irony of the whole thing, of course, is that the biggest supporters of the BBC are actually the South of England middle class who disproportionately vote Tory. And I suspect if the Conservative Party, if the Conservative Party 
or a, a, a rump, a bit of the Conservative Party, tries to push this thing through, they will have enormous opposition within... Greg, they are not, tra they are not trying to... They're not trying to wreck the BBC. They're not. What about what Gary Lineker says? Uh, he says, I would make the licence fee voluntary. I don't know the logistics of how it would work. You would lose some people, but at the same time, you'd up the price a bit. You're forced to pay it if you want a TV, and therefore it's a tax. What about he says about that? Well, if it's voluntary, people won't pay it. Well, and how much is he being paid, by the way? Well, exactly. One point eight million, million a year, and he's not even exclusive. <laughs> and in Germany, they've got a they've got a broadcasting levy, and it's compulsory on every household. Yes. Okay, you're watching the page on Sky News. After the break, why we need radical action to stop football clubs breaking the rules. <laughs>